And so I tell them, anyone can make things difficult. Genius is making difficult things simple. And so I hope I accomplish that today with you. So my title is Shattering the Modern Minority Stereotype of Asian Americans. Now, the modern minority stereotype is like a bikini. What it reveals is suggestive, but what it conceals is vital. <laughs> now, I'm glad I got a laugh. That was my best slide. But here's <laughs> Rock. He said, you know the world is going crazy when the best rapper is a white guy, the best golfer is a black guy, the tallest guy in the NBA is Chinese. He goes on, the, the most powerful men in America are Dick Cheney, what, you get that, right? So the Chinese man he was talking about is here on the screen. Raise your hand if you know this man. Very ubiquitous. Yao Ming, very tall. Houston Rockets, on Time Magazine. Now, I'm not going to talk about Yao Ming today. I'm going to talk about the man to the right, the, the, the boy. Raise your hand if you can identify this Asian American boy. Don't, don't tell us who it is, but just raise your hand. Great. Now, I know it's pixelated. Here's a better picture. Raise your hand now if you've identified him. He tweeted this picture. The next slide will reveal his identity, but he tweeted, he said, quote, I look like a baby. Daikembe Matambo and Yao Ming, right? Lin, Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin started, right, in the New York Knicks, and Lin Sandy swept across the nation. Now, we have the Chicago Bulls here in Chicago, in the Windy City, but New York had Lin. Now, it's interesting. Yao Ming, Chinese, Jeremy Lin, Asian American, Houston. I guess the Houston franchise is the only NBA franchise to hire Asian Americans <laughs> or Asians. It's interesting. Now, I want to direct your attention. 7-Eleven, no, not the gas station, not their names that both have three characters, Lin and Yao. But Houston. Think about Houston if you've ever been there. I've been to Houston. You know what Houston loves? They love Asians. <laughs> now here, this memory is really telling, because I don't want to use something that's very funny, but at Rice University in Houston, Rice, Asians, Rice, <laughs> they do research in urban education, and they found that there's a lot of stereotypes of Asians, and there's a lot of racism towards Asians in Houston, at Rice University. <laughs> so I want to talk about the bikini a little bit. The bikini a little bit. It's not, I saw a man here with a I love New York. The model minority stereotype is a positive stereotype. Right? It's a good thing. I have a badge. I love Asians. I love New York. I love the Big Apple. Right? Time Magazine has the whiz kids. They're very smart, aren't they? That's me on the left hand side. This was in the 1980s. No, that's not me. <laughs> Again, Newsweek, 1980s. A few things that you should look at the, the cover of these magazines. They, they look East Asian to me. Chinese, Korean, Japanese. Here you have more artifacts of the model minority stereotype in popular culture. You have the tiger mom. Raise your hand if you know a tiger mom. Raise your hand if your mother was a tiger mom. You had to play violin. You could not go on sleepovers, right? Jeremy Lin, he went to Harvard, right? It wasn't his academics that made him a model minority. It was his athletic ability, wasn't it, at Harvard? I mean, he defies stereotypes. He's tall, right? Asians are short, aren't they? But here you have an example, right, of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Taste the insanity. Now, this was a real flavor. But the flavors, the ingredients were Fortune cookie and my tea. <laughs> ESPN, on their website, they had a title and it said, Cheek in the Armor. Now, if you do not know anything, do not call your friends who are Asians chinks, right? It's racist. Or Google Plus. They have an app. They took it down, thank goodness. The Asian maker. If you want to orientalize your face, <laughs> it's at this moment that I tell my undergraduate students, right, that if you have a Dr. Seuss book in home, Green Eggs and Ham, then you know what sinophobia is. 
You know what xenophobia is. You know what racism is. And so we're laughing, and I'm laughing with you. I want us to know that my minority of Asians, it's a bikini. It reveals something, but what it conceals is racism. Don't forget that. It conceals racism. And that's my last slide. Thank you very much.